हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द जेंटेंगल सेशन आई एम योर होस्ट निधि प्रकाश एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन आवर जेंटेंगल लेट्स टेंगल टुगेदर 57 हियर इज अ लिटिल डिस्क्लेमर एंड द हैशटैग्स व्हिच यू कैन यूज इन योर पोस्ट इन डिफरेंट सोशल मीडिया and i'm very excited for today's session as in our today's artwork also we are going to i'm going to introduce one new tangle so i welcome hi navai hi don shafer good morning judith from pennsylvania hi sabrina dmo good morning kathy from chile ontario canada yes kathy it's it's snowing here as of now right now too and it is snowed last night it's all white outside when you get moment could you please explain the difference between a youtube and patreon member yes kathy while in the session i will definitely uh, walk you through about the difference oh uh, my husband ajay is also here hey ajay hello how are you? how is everyone Uh, please let me know in the chat, everyone. Is my voice okay? Because uh, my husband changed the mic, and so today this is the first time I'm using this new mic. Please write down in the chat if my voice is clear. Hi, Karen from UK. The tile looks tricky. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Good morning, Lisa from Florida. I'm good, Vivi. Thank you. Hi, Mimi Patch. Let's start. Is everyone ready? My voice is a little bit low. Shall I? Perfectly clear. Okay. Let me increase it a little bit more. If you find it a little uh, loud, please let me know. I just increased it a bit. Thank you for your feedback, everyone. So as you can see, here we are going to work on a. 3.5 inch square tile i'm going to work on a zentangle tile you can work on a any tile whatever works for you you can just draw a 3 and a half inch square on your any paper any uh art any your drawing pad or somewhere we are going going to follow all these zentangle matter and this is the zentangle session we are going to use pencil tortion pencil maybe for just for the drawing some uh long uh, string and the pen so before i start i would like everybody to take few moments maybe you can close your eyes and feel some good moment about your life or you can just feel about this present moment feel good about yourself your supplies you have or the time you are taking for yourself let's just spend few seconds for ourselves awesome thank you everyone for joining me and the next is the corner dots corner dots are really important because uh, right now we know actually what we are going to draw because i have planned but in the general session we don't generally have any plan so sometimes it become di difficult that where to start what to start so these corner dots are a beautiful perfect start because once you put these little corner dots on your tile so your tile is no more empty and you feel that confidence that yes now we have start we can start drawing and the third is to join these corner dots and make the border use very lightly okay keep your hand very light while drawing this border because this is just the guideline and as you must have experienced in our past session we avoid using the eraser in these sessions but if required you can use there is no hard and fast rule this is just a suggestion not to use the ruler just the pencil for these guidelines and the string and then just the pen okay 
so mimi patch i didn't get it what you are what you want to say if my camera is not clear is my screen is clear everyone please let me know after that we are going to work on the after working on the corner dots and the border we are going to work on the string clear thank you lisa so now for the oh, maybe patch maybe you know in your youtube there is one setting that at what setting you are watching the video you can change it to the high resolution maybe it's coming on the 356 or something like that so just change it and then you'll see the difference that's my suggestion okay so now for the string i would like you to make for these do dots inside of this tile like the corner dots and join them that is the string to draw the frame and one more internal tiny frame inside of this This is the string of our today's artwork. Keep rotating your tile. Perfect. So now I'm keeping my pencil away and I'm grabbing my pen. I'm going to work from a Micron 01. If you are working on a bigger uh, paper maybe you can use little thicker tip pen or you can if you are working on a smaller tile I would suggest you to use any little tiny tip pen thin tip pen and now we are going to start our fifth uh, step of the zentangle method fifth method that is the tangling that is why we're here we are right okay before I start let me see who is here hi Linda Welcome you in the session after so many days. No problem, Valerie. We just started. You can catch up quickly. Okay, is everyone ready to draw here along with me? Please write down one, whoever is drawing along with me. And write down just two if you are enjoying watching the video. Awesome, Kathy. Beautiful. Valerie, I'm using the white tile. It's not the Renaissance tile. It's the white tile. Awesome. Now, in this center part, we are going to work in the center frame first. And we are going to use the tangle pickpocket. We haven't added this tangle in our... Tangle Marathon uh, journal. So in the Tangle Marathon journal, I would suggest you to add this tangle into this high focus tangle. The, this is the high focus tangle category tangle which we are working right now. That is the pickpocket. This is our Tangle Marathon journal. I think there are more than 30 uh, videos are there in this series where we created this journal please add this into the high focus tangle so before we start first we need to make few seeds so we can put it into the seed and cadent category tangle or the woven category tangle too so let's start here we are going to divide it into one two three and four four columns and let's divide it into total five rows. So one, two, three, four, and five. So we are going to draw. These are just the placings of these seeds. These little tiny dots. And we are going to draw 
these tiny triangles towards the right side and we will leave one dot. This tangle has been deconstructed by the Thomas Padros. He is one of my very famous, one of the famous uh, uh, tangler as well as one of my famous uh, Zen tangle artist. He has been deconstructed lots of beautiful tangles we have used in our previous sessions too. I put this tangle into the high focus tangle because it requires little extra attention when we are setting up these seeds as well as the line so I'm just trying to keep this straight so that you can see that I just made these triangle going towards the right hand side and I leave one dot and drew them now we are going to work on the rest of the dots and we are going to draw the triangle again but to the opposite side Take your time, draw slow. So now we are done with these seeds or these triangles. Now it's the time to join them. So first we are going to work in this first column. And you see here this line is going slanted. So we are going to join these two triangle with the slanted line like this. We will fix our triangles also. So that they align with the line very well. So this is the first row, we'll do nothing in the second row, but we'll do the same thing in this third column. I just made these triangles a little bigger. After this, we are going to work on the center column. So for that, I would like to tilt my tile lightly because this time we are going to join in this opposite direction. That's it. 
Isn't it beautiful? And after that, we are going to work in the center of these three columns. So we'll leave these tiny ribbon style and we will draw this straight line in the very center of these three columns. And now I'm just changing my pen and taking a little thinner tip pen, but we can work with the same tip also, okay? And I really want to make these little dash lines. Zero one pen will also work. These are the little decorations. So let me know what category you are going to put this tangle into your tangle marathon. So my preferred category is high focus tangle, but you can put it into the seed and cadent category tangle. You can put this into the woven style tangle. You can put it into the straight line tangle, right? Now we are going to just draw the double line. And here you see this is kind of enveloping this triangle. Take your time, don't rush. Keep rotating your tile so that you get good angle. Perfect. So we are done with our first tangle that is pickpocket. Uh, that's why this is your last. I know this is a little difficult tangle. That's why I put this tangle into the uh, um, high focus category tangle. I know it requires a little extra focus. I tried my best to draw as slow as possible. I hope rest of you got it. So no worries MJ, you can start watching it again. And I would suggest if you find it a little difficult, you can start drawing it with the pencil first so that you can erase and fix. Now we are going to start working on our next angle. That is the next angle in this tiny frame. But before that, I would like you to extend these two 
kind of the ribbon style first let's extend this one so this line I would like to extend it all the way And the same in this other side, this one. Now we are going to work on this neck tangle. So for the neck tangle, like this, these are the four sides. This is the center of the all four side. After the center, just mark two more here on below these two columns. That is the nice way to get the spot. So kind of divided all four sides into three three sections and where we made these dots we are just going to make these tiny diamond shape these diamonds are kind of uh, you know in the horizontal these are in the vertical position Again, horizontal. And either if you keep your tile straight then this is uh, vertical if you keep it sideways then it is horizontal so the direction can change based on your tile direction and now we'll draw the aura line so basically in this original neck we first draw this straight line and when then we draw the diamond but here I just changed it a bit I first drew the seed And we'll make sure that we are not drawing over these extended ribbons. Actually, we move further. What I would like to draw this internal frame line. Let's draw that. It will help us to get a clear picture.
for the frame. Yeah. Now we are going to draw the outer aura line of these diamonds. So basically in the original deconstruction, this is the first step to draw these uh, lines like this. And then we draw this diamond inside. But I just want to make it a little easy. So I... Oh, here we drew the outside already. <laughs> oh my God. I did this little blender, but it will work. No worries. In the half I did the inside, in the half I did the outside, but that's fine. Because we are supposed to go on the both side. So now let's first work on the inside part like this. All the aura lines. So next tangle, I would like you guys to put in the tangle marathon in the straight line tangles as in this tangle marathon uh, one. This here is the straight line one. So this neck tangle would fit very well in this straight line tangles. So please put it in this category. Here we are using this tangle as the frame tangle or the borders and the frame. That is the best part of all these tangles that they can fit very well in more than one categories. So it's your choice where you want to put or you can draw in two categories the same tangle. That is also absolutely okay. Draw according to the category. Now we are going to make the aura line in the outside. It is absolutely okay if it is going little out than your frame line. After that, we can decide do we need more outer or a line or we are happy with just this much. Maybe we can just draw one more or a line. That's it. Otherwise, we can just stay till here. So what I would suggest, I would suggest to just stop here now and then let's start working on the outer section. So we are done with these two tangles and now we are going to first 
extend our these ribbons outside before we start our next section so like this line is coming here and it will go and stop here this line let me first complete on this side I'll just turn the tile and then now I will draw on this side. So draw in the air and then draw in this section. And on all these sections, we are going to draw the double line also. So here I'm just drawing this outside and here inside. Just extend these ribbons of the pickpockets. Perfect. So we have used pickpocket by Thomas Pedros. If you want, you can just write down here. pocket let me change my pen to zero one by Thomas Pedros and we are using Nick and Nick has been deconstructed by Bunny Wright CZT so you can put this into the straight line or the filler or the border tangle and this one is in the high focus or the seed and cadent category tangle it's your choice where you want to put and now in these two sections i'm presenting you one new tangle that is called the floor aisle like the word came to my mind i was thinking about something tiling um, but little bit flowerish so I was looking for some grid tangle and I couldn't find what I was just exactly looking for. I searched my uh, whole journal and a lot of other tangles. Then I came up with this design. That is the floral tangle and how I have been deconstructed it. And where is my paper of this floral? Here you go. So you can see. Let me take out with this paper. Otherwise get a lot of glare on the, because of the lights. So that is the plural tangle and here is the step outs. I'll take the picture of this step out sheet and I'll put it in my Facebook page. You can see there. This is the tangle which we are going to use in our these two top and bottom section. So that is the plural tangle. I have used this tangle in these two different examples also. Different ways you can use this tangle as a ribbon. And as the filler, so you can put this tangle into the filler tangle, into the grid tangle, into this ribbon or the band tangle. It's absolutely up to you. So let's first start working on this one corner. So for that corner, we are going to divide this into the grid. 
and I'm going to draw this diagonal lines like this now I'm turning my tile to this side because now we are going to draw the lines in the opposite direction to get these diamonds or the rhombus kind of the shape squarish after getting this grid in every of these diamonds or the square we are going to make we are going to put this dot in the very center of the every box I'm going to repeat this whole pattern in the other sections too. So if you miss out the step, you can see that. First make the grid, then find out the center in the every single cell. And then we are going to draw these beautiful four petals in each corner coming inside. So I would suggest to draw like this and it saves time and it is quicker for me at least you can decide what works best for you you can draw one one petal at a time or you can draw this continuous line I love drawing in the continuous line that's why I'm drawing like that but as a one stroke at a time draw this one loop one petal, one petal. So this is the grid pang petal, grid tangle as well as little bit of the organic because we are drawing these flower or the petal kind of thing. That is exactly what I want. Look, I was looking for to bring that harmony in this whole, you know, the balance in this whole tile because this is kind of very geometric. So I was looking for something little bit more round and the flowery style I hope you guys like this pattern So keep filling this. Take your time, don't rush. Please write down in the chat what do you think about this new pattern. So the next step is optional to draw the diamond in between the space of this line like this. This is the optional step. If you don't have a space, you can skip this step. If you have extra space, you can draw this di these diamonds a little bigger in the size. If you have little extra extra space, you can draw these petals double and these diamonds double like this. 
or like this here you can see the double one but if you have less space you can just skip the diamond and you can keep it a little bit more simpler like this way just the flowers you can choose what variation works best for you perfect now we are going to repeat the same thing on the other side of the tile so I'm just turning my tile to the other side and repeating the same thing first to divide the whole area into the diagonal grid If you are working on a little bigger paper, I would suggest you can make these grids also a little bigger, little wider I mean. Good morning, Linda. Nice to have you. Thank you, Yasmin. Now, make the dots in the very center of every cell, every diamond or the rhombus or the square shape, whatever you get. And... Now it is the time to draw the petal shape. One, two, three, four. And that's how we are going to draw in each and every section. Let me bring it a little bit more closer. This is the one which we are working on right now. If you want, you can see these two variations. Yesterday's session was fun. We created beautiful mandala. And I saw some of you have been shared your mandala on my on the Facebook page in the post. Beautiful. I they were very nice. They brought a big smile on my face when I saw that. So the same as when you completed your this tiles and tangle work, please share it with me on the Facebook page. I'm going to make a post after this where you can share along with me and everyone else.
it is every it is absolutely okay if your petals are not of the exactly same size they can be a little bit big or small that is the fun of this tangle you can make these petals little bit big or small it's fine And after that, we are going to draw lots of these diamonds in between. Feel free to skip this diamond step if you don't have that big space in between the flowers or if you want to keep it little open like this one. But if you want to fill it a little bit more this diamond goes very well because of this neck and this pickpocket tangle we have used in this style. So it goes very well in the theme. And this is part of my deconstruction also. But there are always variations, right? Awesome. Now we have these six sections left. So in these two sections, we are going to repeat the same thing here and here. And in these two, we are going to use the other tangle. So in this alternate one, I'm just going to draw one line only. Because we have less space. And here diagonal. So I'm working in both of these sections simultaneously. We'll stop just in this inside section, okay? And next is to make the dot in the center. One step at a time. One stroke at a time. That is the main mantra of the zentangle no rush now these tiny petal one petal at a time I'm going to add all these tangles in my journal, in my tangle marathon. Maybe I'll come live one day either on Facebook or on Instagram and I will add these tangles in my tangle marathon journal. Or if I find lot many like if there are a lot of tangles i can create i can do one this kind of session then tangle session for the tangle marathon especially 
that is also a nice idea so i'm still thinking i'll check how many tangles i have new tangles to add in the tangle marathon journal okay now the di diamonds very tiny space but still i want to stay in the same uh, theme like what i did on the corners beautiful how do you like this so far we are done with these three tangles pickpocket by thomas pedros nick by bunny wright plurile by me so these three tangles we have done and we have played a little bit with these ribbons we extended these uh, little um, in the pickpocket these little ribbons we extended them and we used them as our string these are the you can put them into the filler tangle you can put it into the grid tangle it's up to you i would suggest you to put this into the grid tangle but it's absolutely your choice now we are going to work on these four tangles and then we'll do the final finishing on the borders so these four tangles, I would like to fill them with the end zapple tangle. Linda, I finished mine in four hours. Oh, that is the, you are talking about yesterday's this artwork. We drew this mandala in our yesterday session. The live session recording is available of all of my mandalas which we have done in our past sessions. In our past sessions, we have made lots of mandalas. If you want, I can just show you quickly here. These are the little uh, bit of these mandalas which we have done in our past session. And the video recording is available for everyone all in on my YouTube. This is for the Christmas in the colored. This is the variation of this one. These are just few of them. Yesterday was the 76th Mandala session. This is the Celtic knot. This, these are the, all the Celtic ones on the 8 inch square paper so these are just a few of them and this is the one we did yesterday so as of now I'm taking all these sessions alternate weekends so next week we are there is there will be no session but next to next week we are going to work on this 9 inch square paper so it is not a 6 inch square like yesterday we worked on a six inch square this was the tiny you can work on this on a eight inch square or eight and a half or the nine inch i just took nine inch so that i have enough space around this will be next to next week and this will be next to next week zentangle tile which we are going to do and today we are here for this tile let's start working on this one how are you guys doing so far? Write down in the chat. What do you think about this one? I continue to work through your past videos. I've done quite a few already, really. Thank you, Kathy. And Kathy, you asked me about the difference between the 
Patreon and the YouTube member, both are absolutely same. The only way, only difference is to, uh, you know, to reach to the video of the YouTube member only videos. Like you see, there are lots of artwork which are available only for the YouTube members or for the Patreons. But they are available for everyone, like either for the YouTube member or for the Patreon. The only difference is to how to reach to those links. For the YouTube members, you can reach directly through the YouTube member only uh, videos. But you can reach to the same videos through the Patreon. So and when you become my Patreon as an Oak member, you can uh, unlock all those member only posts which have all the link for these videos. The only thing is, if you want to support me as a YouTube member, you can support me just with the $3 thing. Then you cannot unlock these one. You can just support me with the $3 per month. But if you join me as a $10 per month or the $25 per month, you can unlock all these videos as well as the support. So these are the videos which you can unlock and many more which are not here with me. I have gifted them or they are framed or like the dot works and all that. So those all are also there. Perfect. Let's start working on this now. How is everyone? Awesome. Um. So yes, if you see there is, we, we made the dot in the every single, this diamond. First the dot in the center and then these flowers. So if you see in this one, so first is the diamond, then the center dot, then the petals. This is the basic step out. And after the petals is the diamond. And after the diamond is the little center uh, you see this um, decoration inside the petal. So again, all these steps are, you know, you can escape. But till this step, it is the tangle. It makes the tangle. But you can do the double lines. As you see here, you can make the double lines in the petals, in the diamond, inside of this decoration. But my, these flowers are pretty tiny. I don't really want to do the lines inside of this i just want to keep it empty as of now so now these two tangles we are going to use the end apple tangle and there are two variations of the end apple this is from the zentangle headquarters zentangle original tangle in these two tangles we are going to divide these areas and we are going to do the end zeppelin in them so i just really want to do and zeppelin like this original so i just divided it into two and then again i'm going to divide it into the diamond shape but if you want to do the random please go ahead feel free to do that that will also work nice And now the end zeppelin is just to do the rounding inside of the. So here, let me just complete this. The whole block. We are going to work on the outside borders. to give little clean finishing so basically this anzapil is a tangle to do like this and we are we use it as a uh, kind of the verb like anzapling if any kind of shape and you are just making the aura line kind of the over the whole shape but rounded corners 
So we call it unzabling. So we can say that I'm doing unzabling in this section. So we sometimes use it as an enhancement too. I'm repeating the same thing in these two sections. So I would like you guys to please write down in the chat about the difficulty level of the style. What do you think? Do you find it easy, difficult, very challenging, less challenging? And now after the grid, I'm going to This month in the February, I uploaded one uh, new video for all my Patreons and YouTube members that was the Yin Yang Mandala on a 14 inch square. That is also available. I didn't show that here because that's not here with me as of now. I'll try to make a post on my Facebook page about all the Patreon only uh, artwork because a lot of people asked me what kind of videos we are going to unlock if we join them. Although you can check all those videos just by the YouTube member only videos if you see in the member only playlist. I think you can at least see all the video thumbnail that will show you what all the artwork are there for the member only videos i hope that works but i'll make the post also and i'll make the post for the step out of this floral so i just want to keep it a little open in these two sections so i made these little bigger uh wider spaces and want to keep the same theme of the diagonal so i did this and zapple but feel free to do the use the random this is the zentangle original tangle so now you use the tangle floral by nidhi prakash cct and then and zapple by zentangle headquarters it's the zentangle original tangle now we are going to work on the edges of our this style so for the edges of our this style what i would suggest here extend these loops and turn them into the loop extend these lines and turn them into the loops like this
So we are going to fill all these inner side of these loops to create that illusion maybe you can say that these are enveloping this area these are just the little tiny finishing touches So this is all for the drawing and now it is the time for the shading. So for the shading we are going to work. So first let's give the shading here to create that. Dish look like over and under. In this big pocket tangle, So shading is our like we are done with the tangling part that is the fifth that is the main part of our whole session and then shading which is kind of very important to kind of give the complete look to our artwork but if you want to do the coloring or something like that so like if you see this one this is the uh, tile which I created when I was deciding the uh, artwork so you if you want you can add these kind of little accent to your these ribbons that is optional to this artwork if you want feel free to do that too you can use color pens you can use color pencils or if you want to keep it classic you can just use the black pen like i did and the graphite pencil for the shading So I'm just laying down graphite everywhere and then I'm going to use my tortillon for the blending. So instead of doing back and forth with the pencil and the blending stump or the tortillon, I'm just using all of them together. Oops, not here. So I'm not supposed to go over here and in fact I'm not supposed to use the uh, eraser but I don't really want to go over this. So that's fine. <laughs> that is a little. I don't really want to do that. That happens when you talk a lot while working. That's what I do in these sessions. I keep on talking, talking.
now I'm laying down in this section also inside We do all these blending shading in our in my graphite art classes. My graphite art classes are all online art classes based on the US and the Canada time zone for all age group. And I'm starting a new batch very soon from 8th of March, Wednesdays. Um, if anyone wants to join, those are one hour, once a week class on Google Meet. And on those classes, we focus on all those elements of art, like the values, shading, perspective drawing, and how to achieve the realistic texture in the graphite art. I, I think I showed my view of the... projects in yesterday's session if you want you can see that if you want I can show you in right now also if anyone is interested you can write down in the chat I will look so those are all the paid classes I forgot to lay down graphite here and those are the two-way classes like you can see me I can see you I can see your work and those are the small uh, group classes maximum eight students per batch so that I can give full time to everyone and we keep on connecting with each other so that you can send me your work I can give you the feedback So that really helps me a lot in uh, these little artworks also, the concept of those drawings. So this is pretty, I'm just looking if I left anywhere, any shading or anything, if I need to fix something. Perfect, and now we are done with the shading. Initial and sign and appreciate again. So I have made my chop, which I have shown various times with the initials of my name. So like my name is Nidhi Prakash, so initials are NP and I have made my chop like this, N and P. And I joined it like this. You can make your initials in to write in a beautiful way or you can just write down your initials like this it's absolutely your choice how you want to write down or you can write down your full name somewhere hiding I'm just writing my name in this one maybe here my initials my chop and then in the back of this oops I just turned it around just like this way it's okay so Nidhi Prakash and this is let's tangle together 57 right it is let's tangle together 57 you can write down YouTube uh, live or Nidhi Prakash arts or you can write down Zentangle whatever uh, hashtags you want you can use it 
so this is for all for today i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know now i'm looking at the chat we love the challenge right? challenging but very enjoyable thank you karen lovely thank you outside tangle seems easy but had a couple of <laughs> that's absolutely okay to get the opportunities center is difficult yes now i like the center is little that's why i put this tangle the pickpocket tangle into the high focus tangle we can do the decoration in the petals why not it's absolutely your choice like you see here also in this one i did little bit of the decoration so we can do either the double double of the circles or we can do the little twigs i just want to keep it open in this one that's why i left it like this but feel free to do the decoration either the doubling of them or with the like you seen here like this little dot and the little line in the center you can do something like that it depends how much space you have and how much intricate you want to do please feel free to do that that's it so there will be no session next weekend but next to next weekend we are going to do again one of the little bigger mandala and the same Zentennial session on Sunday. I'm still here for a few seconds. If you have any questions, please ask. Yes, Kathy, see, see you in two weeks. Yes, Linda, and Zeppel is one of my favorite too. It's a beautiful technique and it's a beautiful tangle. Awesome. Bye-bye, everyone. See you.